Hey guys, Chris from Chris's Treasure Chest. Today's a really, really good, uh, special day for my YouTube channel. This is my 100th episode. I cannot believe that time has passed this since I started three years ago. And to my 100th video, I want to thank all of you for watching, subscribing, um, and, and getting this uh, to where it is today. I'm so grateful and I'm so happy. Thank you so much. Um, it was funny, last night I was looking at my early videos I started, uh, when I started this um, two years ago. Um, it's kind of funny how, how from what I used, was buying then to what I'm buying now, the big swing in quality of products, the big swing in average selling price I'm getting. Um, it's all about experience and that's what I hope you guys are learning from my channel, watching uh, exactly what I've done from day one to this video number 100. So, um, again, thank you, and uh, I look forward to hitting 200 videos uh, in the near future, uh, along with you guys. Keep subscribing. Uh, if you want to see any content that I'm not putting on, please put it in the comments, and I will do my best to um, get it done. I know a few subscribers have asked me to show what kind of boxes or packing material, packaging material I'm using, and I plan on doing that midweek next week. I'm gonna put a little video together on what I use to clean my items with, so you got a better idea from getting, picking the item, bringing it in, cleaning it up, and uh, the way it's processed to be shipped. All right, guys, let's push pause for a second, and we're gonna go to the screen, and we'll go from there. Okay, guys, here's um, 10 random items that I sold in December. Uh, the first one I wanted to show you was the, um, the purse. Uh, this was the purse I bought for $14.99, part of the $20 challenge, and I sold it for $1.70 to somebody in Denmark. And uh, actually, they paid quite a bit of money to uh, get it shipped out there. But this was a nice score. It was a Mark by Mark Jacobs Classic Q Natasha Black Leather Shoulder Bag. All right, so let's move on to the next one. Uh, I'm going to go over here first. Um, original Giant Tinker Toy. I had this price up and down. I listed it around $64.99 um, just before Christmas. It did have minor damage to a couple of parts. There's one of the ends that was broken, but um, it didn't affect the sale at all. Um, again, I think this went to California. I, I don't know what I had into this. Maybe 10 bucks, maybe. So it was a decent flip. Uh, the box had some damage to it, but... Um, you know, like I said, it wasn't a, be a deal breaker. Uh, somebody wanted it pretty bad, so collector maybe. This was a weird item. This is a Ratchelette. Uh, it had eight portions. Uh, I picked this up for nothing. I think it was five bucks. Uh, this thing heats up. It's kind of like a, it's a Swiss item, I believe, and it was very popular in the 70s. This thing heats up, and you put these little things underneath with cheese, and it melts, and then you have it with ham and whatnot. Um, Sold for $39.99, but the crazy part, this guy paid $90 Canadian for shipping. He wanted it. He was from California. Um, and uh, yeah, it was nuts the, the amount that he paid to get this. And I tell you guys, people will pay for shipping shipping for unique items. There's This was a very rare uh, item. Very hard to find in this condition in the box. It was basically brand new. And remember guys, when I tell you, items that don't work sell this was a pioneer and i love this brand guys especially uh 80s le uh, uh, late 80s items this was a uh, cd recorder and it had a 3d multi cd changer the cd recorder worked great um the single part here uh but the th that part there the three pack didn't work well i sold it um as is and uh i think i paid 7.99 for it guys and i got 59.99 so good or higher end vintage electronics that need repair will sell. Here was a nice one. HP PhotoSmart uh, printer. I picked this up for $14.99. It was sealed. I didn't sell it for $109. I got a best offer. I think it was for $69 or $79. I can't remember. Uh, but it was brand new, sealed, um, never been used. Uh, if you ever run into sealed printers, guys, they do sell. This is an older unit, um, so it did it did unload pretty fast, actually. This is interesting. This is a spotting scope, 50 millimeters, made in Japan. Company's Matador. 
Um, excellent condition. This was right in the box. Uh, I think I paid $14.99 or $19.99 less $30 for it, and I got $95.99 for it, guys. I got some really, really good money for it. So, um, not something you're going to find every day. This was actually in the showcase uh, in one of the thrift stores. They really didn't know what it was really worth. Uh, so, I got a good deal there. Typewriters. Back to typewriters. Um, the electric ones have kind of sloped off for me. Uh, not selling very well, but these little manual ones sell very, very well. Um, look at 80 bucks. I think I paid $7.99 for it. It was missing the cover, came with the case. It uh, wasn't a deal breaker. Guys, collect these guys. These were basically used by reporters when they were covering a story or they were on a plane or a sporting event. It was a, it was a mini uh, laptop at the time. Right where they where they typed up their uh, report. So look out for these guys. This is a really good brand too. We Sports picked it up for twenty bucks. Uh, the sports game wasn't in there. I bought the bass fishing. I threw it in. Um, worked great. One controller, one nunchuck. It was missing the AV cable. This thing right here. Uh, I went to a video game place, retro place where I live. And they had one for, I think it was seven bucks, whatever it was. So, uh, what do I have? 27 bucks into it. This guy bought it uh, just before Christmas. Uh, he actually paid extra for uh, two day shipping to Quebec. So, uh, he received it. He's quite happy. This is one of my favorite things, guys, that I ever bought. I'm, I'm a big hockey fan, you know that. And uh, this is an OHL CCM Sudbury Wolves team wool overcoat uh it had the tags on it it was the thing was in mint condition like it was just amazing the embroidered logo was there everything I, I can't remember what i paid for it but i got 60 for it uh, uh a guy in toronto bought it ontario just a really really nice cool jacket and last picked this up for 10 bucks brand new basically samsung dvd 1080p seven she said this is the second one i've sold i uh, got 44 plus shipping uh, the thing was brand new uh, it was like somebody got it they opened it up and never used it uh, the manual wasn't even or sorry the um the remote wasn't even taken out of the plastic so there you go guys there's uh 10 random items that i sold in december uh made some good money um and uh let me flip the camera around and we'll wrap this thing there you have it guys there you go there's 10 random items i sold in december uh some good margin some average so you can see it was it was funny month we did sell a lot we did very well we doubled our doubled our sales over prior year um but it was just constant item selling and and what the really cool thing was all the board games and and closed uh, toys that I had for a little while I've been collecting a lot of those sold they were nice to blow those out of my inventory um, but uh, yeah that was December 2018 on to 2019 guys let's move forward let's make this a good year for all of us um, again if you're picking if you're picking and trying to sell on eBay or .com or eBay.ca uh, watch my videos I hope I can help you out and um, again, smash the like button, guys, the thumbs up. It really, really helps me. Subscribe, share with your friends. All right, guys, let's start the new year right. Keep look, watching my videos, and let's move forward, and let's all make a little bit of money.